All right, so using slope and y-intercept to graph. So we've already talked about this. Slope and y-intercept. What is slope? The rise over run. Rise over run. And the y-intercept? The initial value. Initial value. Initial value. Okay. All right. So what are the x and y-intercepts of a graph? So let's start with x-intercept. What is that? What? Horizontal. No, that's the that's the x-axis. What's the x-intercept? So it's a point, okay? It's a point. on x-axis, okay? So the y-intercept is what? Point on the y -axis. It's a point on y-axis. So if I draw a graph over here, okay? So like Steven said, the horizontal one it's my x-axis. The vertical one is my y-axis. Okay, so an x-intercept is a point that lies on the x-axis. So let's say that this is 4. Okay, what would my ordered pair look like? What number comes, what number would I put? 4. 4, okay, and then 0. Let's say that this point right here is also on 4. Zero. So what number would come first? 0. Zero. Four. 4. Notice how both intercepts have what? Zero. Zeros, okay? They both have zeros. The y-intercept, the zero is always in the x, okay? And for the x-intercept, the zero is always for y. Now, how do they make graphing align faster than using the table of values? <coughs> Just these two points. How does it make it easier to graph than listing a bunch of values? Yeah. What? So... Anybody else? Well, the question's right there. How do they make graphing the line faster than using a table of values? Just the x and y intercept. How, do they, how does it make it easier? How is it easier? You just draw a line connecting the dots. Yeah, you just need those two points, and then you just draw a line straight through them. Okay. And in the equation y equals mx plus b, which letter represents the y-intercept? B. B, right? So b for begin. What's another, what's another term we've used for y-intercept? Initial value. Initial value. Okay. Do you guys know of another one? It's kind of like begin, so it's your starting point. Your starting point. Okay. All right. So for number one A, find the slope and y-intercept. Okay. What is our slope? Mm, nope. Different one. Three, K. And what letter is that? What variable? Our slope? X. M, right? K. So we said that our slope is three. Edward said that it's what? Wait, what? You said something else. Three over one? Three over one. K. 
So that those are two ways you can write slope. Three or three over one. It's the same thing. Okay. Now what's our B? Two. Our B is two. Okay. And for one B, what's our slope? One half. Okay. No. Okay. So one half, and what's our B? Okay. Joseph, what is our slope for C? Our slope for C. Ask Destiny. Okay. I need you guys to pay attention. Okay. So now you two again. What's my B value? Okay, so if there isn't one, what's another way of saying that in that? Zero. Okay. So when your when your y intercept is zero, you don't have to put anything. You can just leave it like that. Okay? So notice that the slope, it's all next to what variable? X. Okay. And then your y intercept is all by itself. Like her? Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for D, <laughs> All right, what's our slope for D? What's our slope for D? Negative one or negative one over one. Okay, the negative is always going to go with your numerator. Okay, and what about B? What's our B? Four. Negative? Four. Okay, it's four. And what about our M for E? What's our slope? One fourth. Okay, what are you guys talking about? Holly? Destiny? What are you guys talking about? Okay, Holly, what's our B? Uh, negative five. Negative five. Okay. And for F, what's our slope? One. And our y-intercept? Um, okay. All right, now we're going to graph. So first thing we do is we identify our slope and our y-intercept. So what's my slope? One half. What's my y-intercept? Two. Okay. Which one am I going to plot first? My y-intercept. My y-intercept, okay. And my y-intercept is going to be on which axis? Y. Y, okay. So it's a positive two, so I'm going to go two spaces up from up st from what? What is that called? The center. Origin. origin. Okay, so two spaces up from my origin. Okay, and now slope, we're going to rise, and then we're going to run. Okay, so the top number is going to go either up or down, and the bottom one, left or right. So where are we going to start? counting from our y-intercept, okay? Begin at B. So I'm going to go up one space and then two to the right. Up one space and two to the right. Okay? And then you just connect all those dots with a line. Is this going uphill or downhill? Uphill. Uphill. Okay. And is the slope positive or negative? Okay. Uh, okay.
Okay, so if it has a, sl a positive slope, it's going to go uphill. Okay. All right, now B. What is my slope? Negative three or three over one. Negative three over one. Okay. And my y intercept? It's a positive four. Okay, so which point am I gonna plot first? Four. So four spaces up. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now rise over run. So because this 3 is negative, am I going to go up 3 or down 3? Down. down 3. So down 3 spaces, 1, 2, 3, and then 1 to my right. 1, 2, 3, and 1 to my right. And I just connect all those. Is this slope positive or negative? And is this graph uphill or downhill? Okay. So negative slope is always going to have what kind of graph? Downhill. And a positive slope is always going to have an uphill. Okay. All right. So now turn to the back. And I want you all to stand up. Yep. Okay, you're not going to talk. You're just going to stand. Everyone's standing. Everyone is standing. So you want to, like, you want us to go through everything? Okay, in order to sit down, you need to answer one of my questions. Okay? <laughs> and let me remind you guys, this is your homework, just the back, okay? The, the back of this sheet is your homework, so as soon as we all sit down, we can get started on it, and then you won't have any tonight. Okay, so for number one, what's the slope? Raise your hand. Okay, Armando. Two-thirds. Okay, you can sit down, Armando. Okay, uh, raise your hand for the y-intercept. Adam. One. Thanks, Adam. Okay. Now, is this equation going to have a positive or a negative slope? Ange? Okay, which means that it will be uphill. Cool. Okay, number two. What's the slope? One half. Okay, go ahead. Sit down. <laughs> Okay, you guys have to raise your hand and wait for me to call you. Okay. What is our y-intercept, Nicole? Negative three. Negative three. Good job. Okay, is this going to be an uphill or downhill, Jocelyn? Uphill or downhill? What kind of slope is it? Is it positive or negative? So is it going to be uphill or downhill? Uphill. Okay. Um, number three. What is our slope, Francisco? Negative three fourths. Negative three fourths. What is my y-intercept, Suvetcha? Two. Two. Stephen, uphill or downhill? Down. Downhill. Why? Because it is negative. Okay. 